Barakuet Adonai Amvarak, Baruk Adonai Amvarak Leolam Vaed, Barukata Adonai Elowenu, Melek Aolam Asher Bakar Banu Mikol, A Amin Vinatan Lanu Et Torato, Barukata Adonai Noten Ha Torah. Blessed Adonai, who is to be blessed. Blessed is Adonai, who is to be blessed forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who chose us from all the peoples and gave to us his Torah. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of Torah. Adonai said to Moses, Speak to the priests, the sons of Aaron, and say to them, None shall defile himself for any dead person among his kin. Except for the relatives that are closest to him, his mother, his father, his son, his daughter, and his brother. Also for a virgin sister, close to him because she has not become someone's wife, for her he may defile himself. But he shall not defile himself as a kinsman by marriage and so profane himself. They shall not shave smooth any part of their heads or cut the side growth of their beards, or make gashes in their flesh. They shall be holy to their God, and not profane the name of their God. For they offer Adonai's offerings by fire, the food of their God, and so must be holy. They shall not take into their household as their wife a woman defiled by harlotry, nor shall they take one divorce from her husband, for they are holy to their God. And you must treat them as holy, since they offer the food of your God. They shall be holy to you, for I, Adonai, who sanctify you, am holy. When the daughter of a priest defiles herself through harlotry, it is her father whom she defiles. She shall be put to death. The priest who is exalted above his fellows, on whose head the anointing oil has been poured, and who has been ordained to wear the vestments, shall not bear his head or rend his vestments. He shall not go in where there is any dead body. He shall not defile himself, even for his father or mother. He shall not go outside the sanctuary and profane the sanctuary of his God. For upon him is the distinction of the anointing oil of his God, mine Adonai's. He may take into his household as his wife only a woman who is a virgin, a widow, or a divorced woman, or one who is degraded by harlotry. Such he may not take. Only a virgin of his own kin may he take as his wife, that he may not profane his offspring among his kin, for I, Adonai, have sanctified him. Adonai spoke further to Moses, Speak to Aaron and say, No man of your offspring through the ages who has a defect shall be qualified to offer the food of his God. No one at all who has a defect shall be qualified. No man who is blind or lame or has a limb too short or too long. No man who has a broken leg or a broken arm or who is a hunchback or a dwarf or who has a growth in his eye, or who has a boiled scar, or scurvy, or crushed testes. No man among the offspring of Aaron the priest, who has a defect, shall be qualified to offer Adonai's offering by fire. Having a defect, he shall not be qualified to offer the food of his God. He may eat of the food of his God, of the most holy as well as of the holy. But ye shall not enter behind the curtain, or come near the altar, for he has a defect. Ye shall not profane these places sacred to me, for I, Adonai, have sanctified him. Thus Moses spoke to Aaron and his sons, and to all the Israelites. Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Instruct Aaron and his sons to be scrupulous about the sacred donations that the Israelite people consecrate to me lest they profane my holy name, mine, Adonai. Say to them, Throughout the ages, if any man among your offspring, while in a state of impurity, partakes of any sacred donation that the Israelite may consecrate to Adonai, that person shall be cut off from before me 
I am Adonai. No man of Aaron's offspring who has an eruption or discharge shall eat of the sacred donations until he is pure. If one touches anything made impure by a corpse, or if a man has an emission of semen, or if a man touches any swarming thing by which he is, which he is made impure, or any human being by whom he is made impure, whatever is impurity. The person who touches such shall be impure until evening, and shall not eat of the sacred donations unless he has washed his body in water. As soon as the sun sets, he shall be pure, and afterward he may eat of the sacred donations, for they are his food. He shall not eat anything that died or was torn by beast, thereby becoming impure. I am Adonai. They shall keep my charge, lest they incur guilt, thereby and die for it. Having committed profanation, I, Adonai, consecrate them. No lay person shall eat of the sacred donations. No bound or hired laborer of a priest shall eat of the sacred donations. But a person who is a priest's property by purchase may eat of them. And those that are born into his household may eat of his food. If a priest's daughter becomes a layman's wife, she may not eat of the sacred gifts. But if the priest's daughter is widowed or divorced and without offspring and is back in her father's house as in her youth, she may eat of her father's food. No lay person may eat of it. But if any such party eats of a sacred donation unwittingly, the priest shall be paid for the sacred donation, adding one-fifth of its value. But the priest must not allow the Israelites to profane the sacred donations that they set aside for Adonai, or to incur a guilt requiring a penalty payment by eating such sacred donations, for it is I, Adonai, who make them sacred. Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, and to all the Israelite people, and say to them, When any person of the house of Israel or of the strangers in, the, in Israel present a burnt offering as an offering for any of the votive or any of the freewill offerings that they offer to Adonai, it must, to be acceptable in your favor, be a male without blemish from cattle or sheep or goats. You shall not offer any that has a defect, for it will not be accepted in your favor. And when any party offers from the herd or the flock a sacrifice of well-being to Adonai for an explicit vow or as a free will offering, it must to be acceptable, be without blemish, there must be no defect in it. Anything blind or injured or maimed or with a wen, boil scar or a scurvy, such you shall not offer to Adonai. You shall not put any of them on the altar's offerings by fire to Adonai. You may, however, present a, as a freewill offering an ox or a sheep with a limb extended or contracted, but it will not be accepted for a vow. You shall not offer to Adonai anything with its testes bruised or crushed or torn or cut. You shall have no such practices in your own land. Nor shall you accept such animals from a foreigner for offering as food for your God, for they are mutilated, they have a defect, they shall not be accepted in your favor. Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, When an ox or a sheep or a goat is born, it shall stay seven days with its mother, and from the eighth day on it shall be acceptable as an offering by fire to Adonai. However, no animal from the herd or from the flock shall be slaughtered on the same day with its young. When you sacrifice a thanksgiving offering to Adonai, sacrifice it so that it may be acceptable in your favor. It shall be eaten on the same day. You shall not leave any of it until morning. I am Adonai. You shall faithfully observe my commands. I am Adonai. You shall not profane my holy name that I may be sanctified in the midst of the Israelite people, I, Adonai, who sanctify you, I, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, to be your God, 
I, Adonai. Adonai spoke to Moses saying, Speak to the Israelite people and say to them, These are my fixed times, the, the fixed times of Adonai, which you shall proclaim as sacred occasions. On six days, where it may be done, but on the seventh day, there shall be a Sabbath of complete rest, a sacred occasion. You shall do no work. It shall be a Sabbath of Adonai throughout your settlements. These are the set times of Adonai, the sacred occasions which you shall celebrate each at its appointed time. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month at twilight, there shall be a Passover offering to Adonai. And on the fifteenth day of that month, Adonai's feast of unleavened bread, you shall eat unleavened bread for seven days. On the first day, you shall celebrate a sacred occasion. You shall not work at your occupations. Seven days you shall make offerings by fire to Adonai. The seventh day shall be a sacred occasion. You shall not work at your occupations. Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the Israelite people and say to them, When you enter the land that I am giving to you, and you reap its harvest, you shall bring the first sheaf of your harvest to the priest. He shall elevate the sheaf before Adonai for acceptance in your behalf. The priest shall elevate it on the day after the Sabbath. On the day that you elevate the sheaf, you shall offer as a burnt offering to Adonai a lamb of the first year without blemish. The meal offering with it shall be two tenths of a measure of choice flour with oil mixed in, an offering by fire of pleasing odor to Adonai, and the libation with it shall be of wine a quarter of a hin. Until the very day, until you have brought the offering of your God, you shall eat no bread or parched corn or fresh ears. It is a law for all time throughout the ages in all your settlements. And from the day on which you bring the sheaf of elevation offering, the day after the Sabbath, you shall count off seven weeks. They must be complete. You must count until the day after the seventh week, fifty days, then you shall bring an offering of new grain to Adonai. You shall bring from your settlements two loaves of bread as an elevation offering. Ye shall be made of two tenths of a measure of choice flour, baked after leavening as first fruits to Adonai. With the bread you shall present as burnt offerings to Adonai, seven yearling lambs without blemish, one bull of the herd, and two rams, with their meal offerings and libations, an offering by fire of pleasing odor to Adonai. You shall also offer one e goat as a sin offering, and two yearling lambs as a sacrifice of well being. The priest shall elevate those the priest shall elevate these, the two lambs, together with the bread of first fruits, as an elevation offering before Adonai, they shall be holy to Adonai for the priest. On the, that same day, you shall hold a celebration. It shall be a sacred occasion for you. You shall not work at your occupations. This is a law for all time in all your settlements throughout the ages. And when you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap all the way to the edges of your field or gather the gleaning of your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and the stranger. I, Adonai, am your God. Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the Israelite people thus, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall observe complete rest, a sacred occasion commemorated with a loud blast. You shall not work at your occupations, and you shall bring an offering by fire to Adonai. Adonai spoke to Moses, saying, Mark the tenth day of the seventh month is the day of atonement. It shall be a sacred occasion for you. You shall practice self-denial and you shall bring an offering by fire to Adonai. You shall do no work throughout that day, for it is a day of, your, of atonement on which expiation is made on your behalf before your God Adonai. Indeed, any person who does not practice self-denial throughout that day shall be cut off from kin. And whoever does any work throughout that day, I will cause that person to perish from among the people. 
do not work do no work whatever it is a law for all time throughout the ages in all your settlements it shall be a sabbath of complete rest for you and you shall practice self-denial on the ninth day of the month at evening from evening to evening you shall observe this year's sabbath adonai spoke to moses saying say to the israelite people on the fifteenth day of the seventh month, there shall be the feast of booths to Adonai to last seven days. The first day shall be a sacred occasion. You shall not work at your occupations. Seven days you shall bring offerings by fire to Adonai. On the eighth day you shall observe a sacred occasion and bring an offering by fire to Adonai. It is a solemn gathering. You shall not work at your occupations. Those are the set times of Adonai that you shall celebrate as sacred occasions, bringing offerings by fire to Adonai, burnt offerings, meal offerings, sacrifices, and libations on each day what is proper to it. Apart from the Sabbath of Adonai, and apart from your gifts and from all your votive offerings and from all your free will offerings that you give to Adonai, mark on the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you have gathered in the yield of your land, you shall observe the festival of Adonai to last seven days, a complete rest on the first day and a complete rest on the eighth day. On the first day, you shall take the produ product of Adar, trees, branches of palm, trees, boughs of leafy trees and willows of the brook, and you shall rejoice before your God Adonai seven days. You shall observe it as a festival of Adonai for seven days. In the year you shall observe it in the seventh month as a law for all time throughout the ages. You shall live in booths seven days. All citizens in Israel shall live in booths. In order that future generations may know that I made the Israelite people live in booths when I bought, brought them out of the land of Egypt, I, your God, Adonai. So Moses declared to the Israelites the set times of Adonai. Barukata Adonai Eloenu Melek Aolam Asher Natan Lanu Et Torato Torat Emet Vechayai Olam Nata Bitochenu Barukata Adonai Noten Ha Torah. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the Torah. Blessings before the Aftorah. Barukata Adonai Eloenu Melek Aolam Asher Bakar Bin Vim Tovim Varatsa Vedevarim Ane Marim Bemet. Barukata Adonai Aboker Batora Uv Moshe Avdo Uv Israel Amo Uninve Aemet Va Zedek. Blessed are you, Adonai, or God, ruler of the universe, who has chosen good prophets and was pleased with their words that were uttered with truth. Blessed are you, Adonai, who chooses the Torah and Moses, God's servant, and Israel, God's people, and the prophets of truth and righteousness. But the Levitical priest descended from Zadok, who maintained... The service of my sanctuary when the people of Israel went astray from me, they shall approach me to minister to me. They shall stand before me to offer me fat and blood, declares the sovereign God. They alone may enter my sanctuary and they alone shall approach my table to minister to me and they shall keep my charge. And when they enter the gates of the inner court, they shall wear linen vestments. They shall have nothing woolen upon them when they minister inside the gates of the inner court they shall have linen turbans on their heads and linen breeches on their loins they shall not gird themselves with anything that causes sweat when they go out to the outer court the outer court where the people are they shall remove the vestments in which they minister and shall deposit them in the sacred chambers they shall put on other garments, lest they make the people consecrated by contact with their vestments. They shall neither shave their heads nor let their hair go untrimmed. They shall keep their hair trimmed. 
No priest shall drink wine when he enters into the inner court. They shall not marry widows or divorced women of the stock of the house of Israel, but only virgins. Or they may marry widows who are widow of priests. They shall declare to me, my people, what is sacred and what is profane, and inform them what is pure and what is impure. In lawsuit too, it is they who shall act as judges, they shall decide them in accordance with my rules. They shall preserve my teachings and my laws regarding all my fixed occasions, and they shall maintain the sanctity of my Sabbaths. A priest shall not defile himself by entering a house where there is a dead person. He shall defile himself only for father or mother, son or daughter, brother or unmarried sister. After he has become pure, seven days shall be counted off for him. And on the day that he re-enters the inner court of the sanctuary to minister in the sanctuary, he shall present his purgation offering, declares the sovereign God. This shall be their portion, for I am their portion, and no holding shall be given them in Israel, for I am their holding. The grain offerings, purgation offerings, and reparation offerings shall be consumed by them. Everything prescribed in Israel shall be theirs. All the choice first fruits of every kind and the gifts of every kind of all your contributions shall go to the priest. You shall further give the first of the yield of your baking to the priest that a blessing may rest upon your home. Priest shall not enter. Priest shall not eat anything with a bird or animal that died or was torn by beasts. Barukata Adonai Elowenu Meleka Olam Zerkol Ha Olamim Zarik Vekol Adoret Ahel Ane Eman Aomer Vas Ose Am Daber Um Chaim Shekol Devarav Emet Vadzerek Neeman Ata Adonai Elowenu Vene Emanim Devareka Vedavar Echad Mid Evarakeka Achor Lo Yashiv Recham ki el melech ne eman verachamam ata barukata adonai a el ane eman bechol devarav. Blessed are you, Adonai or God, ruler of the universe, rock of all eternities, righteous in all generations, the faithful God who says and does, who speaks and fulfills all of whose words are true. Faithful are you, Lord or God, and faithful are your words. Not one of your words turns back unfulfilled, for you, O God, are a faithful and compassionate King. Blessed are you, Lord, the God who is faithful in all his words.